Hi boys and girls. Yesterday we started talking about caterpillars turning into butterflies. Do you remember all the steps that happen for a caterpillar to change to a butterfly? I have a poem that will help us to remember. First comes a butterfly who lays an egg. Out comes a caterpillar with many legs. O see the caterpillar spin and spin a little chrysalis to sleep in. O O O look and see O O O look and see out of the chrysalis my oh my out comes a pretty butterfly this time can you read it with me first comes a butterfly who lays an egg out comes a caterpillar with many legs oh see the caterpillar spin and spin a little chrysalis to sleep in oh 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 look and see oh 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 look and see out of the chrysalis my oh my out comes a pretty butterfly now i'm going to show you some of the words from the poem see if you can read them with me or before me what's this word sp we know that part in sp in spin How about this word o and u together makes what sound ow Out. You know this word. What is it? Look. If I cover up that S, we know that word. Come. So put an S on the end and it changes to comes. How about this one? B. But. We know that part of the word. But. But, er, and we know that part of the word. Fly, but, her, fly. How about this last one? Look at the first part of that word. Do you know that word? Cat, cat, er, pillar, caterpillar. Our story today is another story that tells how a caterpillar changes into a butterfly. In fact, that's the name of it. From Caterpillar to Butterfly. That's the title. And the author is Deborah Heiligman. What did Deborah Heiligman do if she's the author? She wrote the words. And the illustrator is Barry Weissman. What did Barry Weissman do? Drew the pictures. Now, this story is going to tell us true information about caterpillars and butterflies. If it's true information, is this book a fiction story or a non-fiction story? That's right. It's non-fiction if it gives us real, true information. Let's read it together and find out how a caterpillar changes to a butterfly. From Caterpillar to Butterfly by Deborah Heligman, illustrated by Barry Weissman. Today a caterpillar came to school in a jar. It is eating green leaves. 
It is climbing and wiggling. This tiny caterpillar is going to change. It will change into a beautiful butterfly. Caterpillars usually turn into butterflies outdoors. They live in gardens and meadows and yards, but we will watch our caterpillar change into a butterfly right here in our classroom. This change is called metamorphosis. Our caterpillar started out as a tiny egg. The mother butterfly laid the egg on a leaf. When the caterpillar hatched out of the egg, it was hungry. It ate its way out of its own eggshell. Then it started to eat green plants right away. A caterpillar's job is to eat and eat and eat so it will grow and grow and grow. Each day when we come into school, we look at our caterpillar. Each day, it is bigger. Our skin grows with us, but a caterpillar's skin does not grow. When the caterpillar gets too big for its skin, the skin splits down the back. The caterpillar crawls right out of its own skin. It has a new skin underneath. This is called molting. Our caterpillar will molt four or five times. After many days, our caterpillar is finished growing. It is much bigger than when it first came to school. It is almost as big as my little finger now. Our caterpillar is making a special house. First, it makes a button of silk. It uses this button to hang upside down from a twig. Then it molts for the last time. Instead of a new skin, this time there is a hard shell. This shell is called a chrysalis. Our caterpillar will stay inside the chrysalis for a long time. Every day the chrysalis looks the same. We can't see anything happening, but inside the chrysalis, our caterpillar is changing. Will our caterpillar ever turn into a butterfly? Will it ever come out of its chrysalis? We can hardly wait, but we do. We wait and wait and wait. Then one day during snack time, somebody shouts, look, and we all rush over to see. The chrysalis is cracking. We see a head, a body, and then wings. It's a butterfly. The tiny caterpillar who came to school in a jar turned into a painted lady butterfly. Our butterfly is damp and crumpled. It hangs onto the chrysalis while its wings flap, flap, flap. Its blood pumps into its wings and the wings straighten out and dry. Soon our butterfly will be ready to fly. Our butterfly cannot stay in the jar. It needs to be outside with flowers and grass and trees and other butterflies. It is a warm spring day. I put my finger into the jar. The butterfly sits on my finger. I pull it out and our butterfly goes free. We feel a little sad and a little happy. We watch our butterfly land on a flower. It will sip the flower's nectar through a long coiled tube called a proboscis. Maybe it is a female butterfly. Maybe someday she will lay an egg on a leaf. I know just what will happen then. The egg will hatch into a caterpillar and that caterpillar will turn into a beautiful butterfly. Can you remember the sequence of events for a caterpillar to change to a butterfly? Remember, sequence means the order that something happens in. How does it happen? First, it's an egg. The egg hatches and we get a caterpillar. 
the caterpillar eats and eats and eats. Then the caterpillar spins a chrysalis around itself. And when it comes out, it's a butterfly. Now, if that butterfly lays another egg to become a caterpillar and grow into a butterfly, it can just keep going and going and going. That's the life cycle of a butterfly. Now, listen to the word butterfly. Can you punch the first sound? Butterfly. But how about caterpillar? K. Ant. Ah. Grasshopper. G. Bumblebee. B. Cricket. K. Moth. M. Mm. Good. Let's review our beginning sounds a little more. I'll hold up a picture and you tell me what the first sound is and what letter makes that sound. Let's start by saying these letter sounds. S, er, f, m, b. What is this? Soap. What does soap start with? S soap. Mouse. M mouse. Robot. R robot. Feather. B. 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 Butterfly. B. B. Rock. R. Beetle. Run. Er. Sailboat. S. Sandwich. S. Fish. Male. Mm. Monkey. Mm. Rainbow. Er. Farm. Box. Map. Mm. Fox. Sun. Now pause your video right here and see how many of those words you can try to write. Let's say these letters and their sound. K, K, D, D, P, P, G, G, N, N. Where does pencil go? P, nest. Mmm. Doll. D. K. 
key. K. Gorilla. G. Golf. G. Kite. K. Duck. Nail. Mm. Pillow. P. Pie. P. Numbers. Mm. Dinosaur. Goat. G. Kangaroo. K. Girl. G. Dog. D. Nurse. Hmm. Pig. P. King. K. Now, how many of these words can you write? Great job. Now, today in the description, you'll find two links for some videos about the butterfly life cycle. I'd also really love to see a sentence that you can write about butterflies. What can you tell me about butterflies? Don't forget to illustrate it too. I can't wait to see them.